good job by Mr. King. Oh, and that's it. Enough, though. That's that it. Hit by PP. Staying with a down airing of sending. But here we are. Who is Green Marth right now? Is this PP? PP, not, not, I can see you. Nod your head if, if you're playing Green Marth right now. Yeah. He's, he nodded his head. See, I can tell you. I told you that they, they can. Yeah, hear they me. could definitely hear us. PP, are you worried that I'm going to distract you? <laughs> All right, thanks. Our model, of course, of pictures amazing. One, two, three. Uh. My baby don't mess around because she loves me so, and this I know for sure. Kevin, if you were reincarnated as any animal, which animal would you be? I heard a philosophical question once about whether if we could be an orgasmic oyster and we would just always experience orgasm, if it was worth it to be that instead of a human, yeah. I want to do that. I want to do that. <laughs> what would you guys say is unique about EG PPMD's play style? Can I go first? Oh, well, okay. Uh, I like bagels. Seriously, I don't even think there's everything on them. I don't really know what they put. I think it's just like one or two things. So good. I love eating everything bagels, some cream cheese. Real simple, real powerful combination. You just order a $9 bagel. It's delicious, dude. It doesn't, price doesn't matter. When it comes to true love, it does not matter. Is it worth it? Was it worth it? It's worth it. I haven't <laughs> eaten it yet, and I'll tell you right now. I'd pay $20 for the bagel. <laughs> Kevin, oh damn, count my money, look at this. Hey look, mm. alright, check this out guys, check this out. I'm going to the strip club tonight guys. Damn. Yo, what's what's ATL, really good? ATL's the place to be if you want strip clubs, for real. Uh, look at this, we got, some, we got a few tens in there for like the Yo, expensive ladies. Hamilton, look Hamilton, look at this, yeah, you know, you know. I know how it is. Oh, I'm a phone ring, I'm blowing up, I gotta <laughs> go. Right. Appreciate all, it. Alright man, take it easy. In summer of 2014, I got really depressed and and uh, didn't know what I was gonna do. And it was and it was it took a really long time. It was taking a lot to get through it, and I really didn't feel like playing. Um, so I I needed to write something to let everyone know that it was just not in the position to play. It was not something I wanted to do. So that's when everyone kind of heard late 2014 that I was having huge depression issues. 